Dr. Hamant Patel, MD, <coughs> forensic psychiatrist, and he will talk about how you behave, how you take care in this situation, like mentally wise, because it's very important right now. So this is Hamant Patel. First, I like to thank SVG Charity to invite me for this live seminar. And I will talk briefly about taking care of your emotional health during this corona outbreak. Can you hear me all? Yes. Okay. So we are collectively experiencing normal distress due to this pandemic of COVID-19. I'm deeply concerned about the impact this pandemic has upon individuals who may or may not be patient with medical or mental health conditions, including elderly special need individuals. Today, I speak to this community at large from Sugarland, Texas, where I reside. But I want to make sure that each and everyone follow local city, county, state officials issued order to stay home or quarantine or for non-essential businesses to close due to pandemic COVID-19. What I said today is based on my knowledge, education and training that I have so far, which is likely to change at future date based on new additional data, new clinical information is available. This pandemic created its own reality. Some to include economic downturn, job loss, job layoffs, prolonged school closure, business closing and threatened supply chain and disruption. So I pray Lord Swaminarayan that this crisis is as brief as possible and may God bless all of us and give strength and courage to everyone to deal with this. We are in, all of us are in this COVID-19 together. I'll continue to reach out with new additional information to satsangis at later date so how we can take care of our emotional health? I know that our Gujarati and Hindu and Indian have a tremendous resources. By the time I get the patient, then either they have exhausted their own reserves or the doctors, those who are primary care or other specialities, they have done a lot of work and then still they cannot find and they cannot deal, then they come to us. So the outbreak of coronavirus 2019 may be very stressful for people and community at large. It's natural to feel stress, anxious, grief, worrying during this disaster or pandemic, but everyone reacts differently depending on what prior experiences you had during significant trauma during significant stressful life experiences. And those feelings can change over time. So first of all, we have to notice and accept how we feel and how we deal. So taking care of your emotional health is very, very important. And you have to think very clearly and react to urgent need, meaning with the priorities and protect yourself and your family. So what are the, some of the few things that you can do? First of all, you have to take care of your body. You eat healthy, well-balanced meals, exercise regularly, try to keep your routine as much as you can, get reasonable amount of the sleep and avoid. I know most of our satsangis are don't thinking, they are not drinking, not using drugs or tobacco, especially tobacco. Try to avoid as much as you can. Another thing that you can do is connect with other. Apraje concerns hoy. So don't keep within yourself. Try to reach out. Try to, you know, uh, uh, talk to somebody and, and explain your feelings, what you are going through to your friend, family member, the one that is trusted source. Maintain healthy relationship and build a strong support. And there are a lot of people out there who will be willing to reach out. If you are working, take breaks. Make sure that you take a time when you feel kind of overwhelmed to unwind and take a few deep breaths, relax, 
ભગવાન નું નામ લો કે વોટ એવર મેક્સ યુ હેપી મેડિટેશન રિમાઇન્ડ યોર સેલ્ફ દેટ ધીઝ આર ધ ફીલિંગ્સ એન્ડ ઇવેન્ચ્યુઅલી ધોઝ ફીલિંગ્સ વિલ ગો અવે એન્ડ યુ ટ્રાય ટુ સબસ્ટિટ્યુટ વિથ વોટ એવર ધ થિંગ્સ દેટ યુ આર એન્જોયિંગ ધ મોસ્ટ સ્ટે ઇન્ફોર્મ વોટ આઈ મીન બાય સ્ટે ઇન્ફોર્મ from the root source rather than listening to a lot of politician administrator go to the root source like cdc or your doctor because your case may be very unique and depending on what stage of the disease that you are you may experience all different kind of the symptoms and different level of the treatment may be required so you have to be very very specific and you have to have information and avoid the rumors gossips and uh, uh, make sure that if there is some con- conflicting or contradicting things because of uh, social media a lot of people call me and they say this is what i heard this is what i had uh, what do you think it could be fabricated so we do not know so make sure that it is reliable source of information like your local government authorities and follow through their orders avoid too much exposure to news when you listen and when you watch tv 24 hours a day 7 days a week then it may be overwhelming take a break don't watch your tv all the time just limit yourself and you can pick few topics or few a uh, block of hours to stay updated with your information or read your newspaper seek help from local resources meaning if you have overwhelming feelings of anxiety depression even if you are thinking about hurting yourself hurting anybody else difficulties in concentrating loss of weight then at this time that you don't want to wait rather at that point you have to talk to your doctor and local counselor or clergyman and try to reach out somebody and then depending on what the they offer so within mental health we have we call talk therapy or meaning clinicians will be doing psychotherapy and psychiatrists are the one who are able to prescribe psychotropic medication based on your diagnosis that they make so for example most common cause around this time is anxiety disorder depressive disorder and those who have bipolar or major depression or psychosis they flare up so what we do is based on our diagnosis we choose right type of the medication and we start low go slow and move on and in the light of all this new medication chloroquine we have so many other psychotropics so we have to watch out for qtc prolongation and i read more and more reports about post mortem when they check the lungs are filled with the clots so they are also giving a lot of blood thinner so what many psychotropic medication can affect their platelet counts and all those so what we do is we try to coordinate your care and we work with other doctors those who are your primary care or specialist and we work together so within all this when you are taking care of that but as dr harshida ben mentioned along with that you have to watch out for your children you have to watch out for your elderly and then your grandchildren to make sure that if they there is a sudden change in their behavior change in their attitude they have outburst of the anger so these are some common signs that they are not able to cope so i don't want you to feel lonely try to reach out there are a lo- lot many local mental health authorities they have opened up their mental health counseling crisis counseling hotlines and they will be more than happy to help so i would end here and one of the question that i was pre formulated question was sent if one of my family member who is ill how do i cope and deal so let me say this being a doctor when we go to hospital we know that we are going in the fire meaning patients are positive so similar to what that individual had asked me the question so there are some basic things that we take care of the way we do our work in day to day life is first of all we take those appropriate precautions 
and we frequently wash our hands. And once we come back, we change our clothes and we still stay with our family as long as we are asymptomatic. And we talk about all these things. And at the same time, we have to use logic. For example, in state of Texas, they had almost more than 100,000 tests done. Among that, only 11,000 were positive. So approximately 10% were positive for COVID-19. And within those 10% positive 10,000, only 200 something death. So only 2% death. So my point is, let's focus more on positive side, meaning those who go for the test, majority of them turned out to be negative. And then within that, those who were positive, majority of them, they recover. So I hope and I pray the Lord that all of us are on the more positive side, meaning better outcome side rather than negative outcome side. And as other doctors mentioned, negative outcome, more risk is age more than 60, diabetes, pulmonary hypertension, cancers, lung disease, smoking, so forth and so on. So as long as we are not in that high risk population, and I hope that we are able to move forward and from, from you know this pandemic that has affected and devastated each and every individual in one way or the other, in my opinion. So I would end here.